The History of Thoth the Atlantean Thoth the Atlantean, Master of Mysteries, Keeper of Records, the Mighty King, the Magician who lives from generation to generation, and who now is about to pass into the halls of Amenti. Here set down these records of the mighty wisdom of great Atlantis for the guidance of those who come after. In a time far past, in the great city of Kior, on the island of Indal, I began this incarnation. The mighty ones of Atlantis did not live and die as I do the little men of the present age. Rather, from aeon to aeon, they renewed their lives in the halls of Amenti, where the river of life flows eternally onward. I have descended the dark way that leads into light a thousand times. A thousand times I have ascended from darkness into light, my strength and power renewed. Now, for a time, I descend, and the men of Kim shall know me no more. But in a time yet unborn, I will rise again, potent and mighty and I will require an accounting of those I left behind. Then beware, O men of Kim, for if you have fleshly betrayed my teaching, I shall cast you down from your high estate into the darkness of the caves from whence you came. Do not betray my secrets to the men of the north, nor to the men of the south, lest my curse fall upon you. Remember my words and heed them, for surely I will return again and require of you that which you guard. Yea, from beyond time and death I will return, rewarding or punishing, as you have requested your trust. Great were my people in the ancient days, great beyond the conception of the little people now around me. We knew the ancient wisdom and sought deep within the heart of infinity, the knowledge of earth's origins. We were wise with the wisdom of the children of light who dwelt among us. We were strong with the power drawn from the eternal fire. And of all these greatest among the children of men was my father, Thotmi, keeper of the great temple, the link between the children of light who dwelt within the temple and the races of men who inhabited the ten islands. Mouthpiece he was, after the three, of the dweller of Unal, speaking to the kings with a voice that must be obeyed. There I grew from a child into manhood being taught by my father the ancient mysteries. In time, there grew within me the fire of wisdom, until at last I burst into a consuming flame, and I desired not but the attainment of wisdom. Then on a great day, the command came from the dweller of the temple, that I be brought before him. Who among the children of men had looked upon that mighty face and lived, for the children of light are not like the sons of men, for they are not incarnate in a physical body, I was chosen from the sons of men and taught by the dweller so that his purposes might be fulfilled, purposes yet unborn in the womb of time. Long ages I dwelt in the temple, learning more, and yet I, I ever more wisdom until I too approached the light emitted from the great fire. He taught me the path to Aminti, the underworld, where the great king sits upon his throne of might. I bowed deep in homage before the lords of life and the lords of death, and received as my gift the key of life. I was free of the halls of Aminti. I was not bound by death the circle of life. I journeyed far to the stars until space and time became as not. Then having drunk deep in the cup of wisdom, I looked into the hearts of men. There I found even greater mysteries, and I was glad. Only in search for truth could my soul be stilled, and the flame within be quenched. Down through the ages I lived, seeing those around me that taste the cup of death, and return again in the light of life. Gradually from the kingdoms of Atlantis passes the waves of consciousness that had been one with me, only to be replaced by spawn of a lower star. In obedience to the law, the word of the master grew into the flower. The thoughts of the Atlanteans turned downward to the darkness until at last the dweller arose in the wrath from his detachment, speaking the word calling upon the power. Deep in earth's heart, the son of Aminti heard and hearing, directed the changing of the flower of fire that burns eternally, changing and shifting using the Logos until the great fire changed its direction. Then the great waters broke over the world, drowning and sinking all, changing earth's balance until only the Temple of Light was left standing, standing on the great mound of Bandal, yet rising out of the water. Some then living were saved from the rush of the fountains. The master then called me, saying, 
gather my people together. By the stars, arts yet ye have ye learned. Take from across the waters until ye reach the land of hairy barbellings, barbarians dwelling in caves of the desert. Follow there the plan that ye know of. So I gathered my people and entered the great ship of the master. Upward we rose into the morning. Dark beneath us lay the great temple. Suddenly the waters rose over it, and the great temple vanished from the earth until time appointed. Fast we flew toward the sun of the morning, until beneath us lay the land of children of Kim. Raging, they came at us with the kalals and spears, lifted in anchor, seeking to slay and utterly destroy the sons of Atlantis. But I raised my staff and directed a ray of vibration, striking them in their tracks as if fragments of stone. Then I spoke to them in words calm and peaceful, telling them of the mighty Atlantis, saying we were children of the sun and its messengers. I cowed with them my display of magic science, and when I released them, they groveled at my feet. Long we dwelt in the land of Kim, long and yet long again, until obeying are the commands of the Master, who while sleeping yet lives eternally, I sent the sons of Atlantis from me in many directions, that from the womb of time wisdom might rise again in her children. Long I dwelt in the land of Kim, doing great works by the wisdom within me. The children of Kim grew upward into the light of knowledge, watered by the rains of my wisdom. Then I blasted a path to Atminti so that I might retain my powers, living from age to age a son of Atlantis, keeping the wisdom, preserving the records. Great grew the sons of Kim, conquering the people around them, growing slowly upwards in soul force. Now for a time I grow from among them in the dark halls of Aminti, before the lords of the powers, deep in the halls of the earth, face to face once again with the dweller. High over the entrance I raised a doorway, a gateway leading down to Aminti. Few would have the courage to dare it. I few passed the portal to dark Aminti. Over the passage I raised the mighty pyramid, using the power of gravity that overcomes Earth's force. Deep, and yet deeper, I placed a force house or chamber from it. I carved a circular passage, reaching almost to the great summit. There, in the apex, I set the crystal, sending the ray into time space, drawing the force from out of the aether. Concentrating upon the gateway to a minty, I built other chambers and left them seeing vacant, yet hidden within them are the keys to a minty. He who encouraged would dare the dark realms, let him be purified first, by long fasting. Let him lie in the sarcophagus of the stone in my chamber. Then when I reveal to him the great mysteries, soon he shall follow to where I shall meet him. Even in the darkness of earth shall I meet him. I, Thoth, Lord of Wisdom, shall meet him, and hold him, and dwell within him. I built the great pyramid, patterned after the pyramid of earth, force burning eternally, so that it too might remain through the ages. In it, I built my knowledge of magic science, so that it might be here when I return again from Aminti. A, while I sleep in the halls of Aminti, my soul roaming free will incarnate and dwell among men in this form or another. I am an a missionary of Earth, the dweller, fulfilling his commands, so many might be lifted. Now I return to the halls of Aminti, leaving behind me some of my wisdom. Preserve and keep the command of the dweller. Lift ever upwards your eyes towards the light. Surely in time you are one with the master. Surely by right you are one with the master. Surely by right you are one with the all. Now I depart from you. Know my commandments. Know them and be them. I will be with you, helping and guiding you into the light. Now before me opens the portal. Now I go down in the darkness of night.